हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू माय ईवीएस क्लास दिस इज शुमी रॉय फ्रॉम टेक्नो इंडिया ग्रुप पब्लिक स्कूल शिलीगुड़ी एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अवर चैप्टर नाइन पीस हार्मोनी एंड इक्विटी इन नेचर फ्रॉम अवर इन्वायरमेंटल साइंस बुक लेट अस डिस्कस व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न इन दिस चैप्टर फर्स्टली वी आर गोइंग टू इंट्रोड्यूस दिस चैप्टर then we are going to discuss about indian and global environmental problems then we are going to discuss the peace harmony and equity in nature then we will discuss some role of our individuals then we will learn about some good neighborly behaviors and at last we will discuss about use and misuse of common property resources let us start the chapter with the introduction of the chapter Article 51A of Indian Constitution says that it is the constitutional duty of every citizen to protect and improve the natural environment including forests lakes rivers and wildlife and to have compassion for living creatures Since last two decades Indian citizens have become more conscious about their rights than their duties becoming conscious of one's right is important but becoming conscious for one's duty too is equally important citizens of the country have shared responsibilities towards environment every citizen has a responsibility of contributing his efforts for maintaining peace harmony and equity with nature he has a responsibility of remaining active for maintaining good neighborly relationships and to ensure that common properties and resources are used for common benefits this is what we are going to study in this chapter due to the growth of human population increasing human carelessness and greed of prosperity have put her combined stress on environment the population growth and unfriendly human activities have led to crises in different parts of environment on global and national levels some serious environmental pollution being faced at national and local levels are listed below very first is explosion of human population and increasing stress on natural resources The second problem is serious pollution of air, water and land use due to the careless industrial, municipal and domestic practices. The third is overuse and misuse of energy resources leading to energy crisis. Improper land use pattern growing slums and stress on land use. Some more serious environmental problems are problems of solid waste and lack of proper management massive deforestation and problem associated with felling of trees degradation of land due to soil erosion and problems related to soil erosion like sedimentation of rivers floods lack of civic sense among public towards the protection of environment now let us discuss some environmental problems at a global level those problems which affect the whole world are called as global problems some of the major global environmental problems are listed below the first global problem is the depletion of ozone layer the second is global warming and climate change and the third is acid rain There are some general environmental problems which are being faced by most of the countries of the world. Those general problems are listed below. The very first is pollution of various types. Second is soil erosion, landslides, sedimentation of rivers, marine desertification, and sea reduce due to slate and dumping of waste. The next is desertification due to deforestation. slash and burn cultivation or overgrazing extinction of a species of plants and animals due to habitat destruction hunting use of pesticide killing and poaching so 
So these are some general environmental problems which has been faced by most of the countries of the world. Now let us discuss how we have to maintain a peace and harmony with the nature. We know with the rapid progress in the science and technology aided by the population explosion, human activities have increased so much that even the very extinction of mankind is in danger. So the most urgent need of the present is to reorientate human activities in such a way as to ensure none of the least possible damage to the environment. This is called conservation. The protection of judicious use of natural resources for a sound management of various component of nature is called as conservation. Peace, harmony and equity in the natural environment can only be maintained through proper conservation of resources and equal distribution of benefits among masses. Now let us discuss peace in nature. Peace in nature means smooth and proper functioning of component of nature including human being without causing any harm to or disagreement with the other components. Harmony in nature means Harmony in nature is a state of peaceful co-extensions and agreement of components of nature to create a pleasant environment. Equity is a situation in which everyone is treated equally and everyone of the human community gets his or her share of benefit while making judicious use of environmental resources. Now let us discuss some role of the individuals. Planning of a suitable strategy for the conservation of our natural resources and most judicious execution of planned strategies is called as conservation management. We individual play a huge role in conservation of environment. Let us discuss some. Some important role of individual in maintaining peace, harmony and equity in nature are listed below. Very first is stop over exploitation, misuse and wastage of natural resources. We have to not misuse and waste the natural resources. The next role is discourage the use of synthetic fertilizers and encourage the use of organic manures. Instead of using synthetic fertilizers, we have to encourage using organic manures. Next is discourage the applications of chemical pesticide. Instead of that, encourage the use of biopesticides like neem oil and garlic solution. So these pesticides can be used, neem oil like example neem oil and garlic solutions can be used as a pesticide and we have to avoid using chemical pesticides. The next role is create proper awareness among general public about proper disposal of solid waste. Solid waste has to be disposed very properly. The next role is discourage the use of plastic instead of that encourage people to carry their own shopping bags made of jute or cotton. Next is discourage throw away habits of disposal. Instead advise for using separate bins for decomposable and non-decomposable waste. Next, develop kitchen garden and use the compost prepared by yourself for growing plants. If no sufficient land is available, plants can be grown in pots also. So we can make our own kitchen garden and we can use our own compost prepared at our home and we can plant our own kitchen garden. Next, try to resolve biodiversity by protecting plants, trees, insects and animals living in the surrounding. 
evaluate current status of components of environment in your locality identify hindrances and hazards and then plan suitable remedial measures so by looking at the current status of your locality you can plan you can make a committee and you can work on that committee for the remedial measures next while planning for economic development like setting up a forest making multi purpose project and power generation project extra care has to be taken to ensure nil or minimum possible effect on environment so whenever we are developing a new project or we are taking a making a new project we have to think about the environment also so that the environment should have minimum possible effect next try to educate local people for the protection and judicious use of natural resources individual of a locality can form a community to take care of environmental matters and issues of the local areas next obey environmental laws and try to convince other people to do so so not only you have to follow the environmental laws but you have to teach others also and you have to convince others also to follow the environmental laws next try to save energy and suggest other to protect energy sources switch off fan and bulb when you don't need so we have to save energy we have to not use the energy when it is not required next rule is don't buy such things from the market which are made of animal body parts like skin fur bone tusk or so we have to take care of them we have to say no to the wear of animal fur next save water and protect water resources from being contaminated yes this is one of the most important role of the individual that we have to save water and not only we have to save water we have to protect our water resources from being contaminated next role is try to make maximum use of rain water or allow it to go underground through wells and pits this practice will recharge the ground water table Yes, by practicing rainwater harvesting and by digging wells and pits, we can recharge our groundwater table. Next, save paper and use every bit of paper on to every possible extent. Yes, we have to save paper and <coughs> usually we have to not waste the paper. We have to use it maximally. Then we have to recycle the paper. Next, start cultivating habits of recycle and reuse our waste. Yes, these three R's should be followed in our everyday life. Reduce, reuse and recycle. Start using in a less quantity. Reduce the use. Then reuse the product and recycle the product. If we follow these three R's in our everyday life, we can help the environment. Next is visitors should be made aware about the loss of plants biodiversity around the world and about the importance of local mountain environment. Yes, we have to say no to deforestation and not only we have to follow this, we have to educate others also to stop deforestation. Now let us discuss some good neighborly behavior, good neighborly relations among individuals of a community are essential for keeping a balance in our social environment. Good manners, self-discipline and cooperation are important features of a good citizen. Every individual must adopt the policy of live and let live. We should have a compassion for all living creatures. It is a duty of every individual to keep his surrounding clean. So we have to take a pledge to keep our surrounding clean and green. Next is, we should not do such activities which may disturb or cause harm to our neighbors. For this, we should not throw a garbage on road. 
Rather, we must put garbage of our homes in covered bins after proper separation. So we have to think before you throw garbage on the roadside. Next is we must not produce sound pollution by playing loud music on music system. It make our neighbor feel uncomfortable. It disturbs sick people and students preparing for their examination. Not only that, there are many other dangers of noise pollution. It impacts sleep habit. It hinders child development and it can cause psychological issues also. So we have to never create sound pollution at our home. Few more good neighborly behaviors are that all the individuals of Conley should unite together and form an environmental protection group. That group should work to ensure that drains are covered, there is no accumulation of waste, no one in the Conley produces high pitch sound, nobody in the Conley uses plastic bags, no one sells toxic items, and nobody wastes resources like water and electricity. So a small community can be built within our society and we can work on these things. Next is observe important days like World Environment Day and Earth Day in your colony and in your school. Make your locality green by planting trees along the roadside and in open space of your house campus. Help your neighbors when they need your help. These are some of the good neighborly behaviors. Now let us discuss some use and misuse of common property resources. Resources that are considered to be common properties of local habitants are called as common property resources such as rivers, lakes. These are common properties. Common property resources are meant for general use of local public. Not a single person can claim his ownership on these resources. This is the reason why these resources are misused by irresponsible people most frequently. Common resources like rivers and lakes are water bodies meant for the use of all human beings and other organisms. Hence, everyone has the right to make judicious use of these resources. But still, many industries and local bodies pour dirty water in rivers and lakes. This is against the law and such people and industries are punished for such activities sooner or later. The next is waterfalls, picnic spots and sea beaches are meant for recreation of common people. These are the place of tourist attraction also. Hence, it is a duty of everyone to take care of environmental health of these places. Open ground serves as playground and good health areas. Local people often use such places for morning walk and recreations. Still, it is seen that many circus companies and other temporary acquire those places for commercial purpose and move from there after some time leaving a lot of garbage and waste. One more problem is with the ponds and ponds are dug to collect rainwater in them. They recharge water table and serve as important source of water. They control microclimate of the concerned area and serve as habitat to various types of organism including water birds. In spite of all those benefits from pound, many irresponsible people dump waste and allow the cattle to move in them. Most of the liquid waste is mixed in the water of these ponds through local drains. These are the dangerous condition for the common health. Some areas have shelter belts. Shelter belts are dense lines of trees that act as dust filter and winter breakers. Those shelter belts should be protected by local communities. Some irresponsible people cut those trees for fuel, wood, and cause severe loss to the local environment through these unhealthy practices. 
All the above conditions show that until local people became aware, responsible and caring, our natural resources can never be saved by law alone. With all this information, we end our today's class. I hope that you all have understood that it is the role of every individual to protect his environment. Thank you all for joining the class.